welcome back to Protect and Persevere. It's been a while since I put out any content, but that's because I've been busy and just dealing with some stuff. But today I really wanted to get to this chest rig, which is the HSGI uh, AO chest rig, which is basically just a panel that you then customize. Um, I'm going to talk about my current setup with it, and I'm going to talk about why I have it set up the way I do, how I would use it, and when I would use it and considerations for other people using this and kind of my philosophy on its use of as a chest rig in general all right so the high speed gear industries ao chest rig is essentially an h harness connected to a molly panel it has three by eight rows of molly webbing to put stuff on and it comes in a variety of colors including multicam and this Chest rig is kind of marketed as, you know, really low vis, uh, lightweight thing with, you know, like three mags and maybe a med kit. But honestly, there's so many different ways you could customize this as a lot of other people have. But let's go into my setup. All right. So the way I have this set up, and this is kind of my go-to setup after just a ton of time of just messing around and figuring out what I like and just what I think is the most effective way to carry ammo and what I think would be a realistic setup so basically i have a surplus eagle industries three by two mag pouch thing basically i have three flap things of a double stack so i can carry a total of six mags so that gives you a total combat loadout so six mags plus one in the gun and that's a decent amount of ammo that i can carry pretty comfortably Next to that, I have a tourniquet, some flat duct tape under it, and then trauma shear. Um, the reason I don't carry more med on that is because if I'm running a chest rig, I will have my main med kit in my cargo pocket, along with another tourniquet. And then on this other pouch, which these are both surplus uh, ACU uh, flashbang pouches, I have my ham radio, antenna sticking out and then I'll either put my earpiece in there or maybe some type of push to talk up here but yeah that's my current setup that I think realistically how I would use a chest rig and how others use chest rigs this is what I think would be a pretty good setup now one of the first things I did to this chest rig is I went ahead and changed out the back strap for T-Rex arms back strap just so it's a lot more flexible and breathable because it can move and in this example if you actually wanted to carry more med or you didn't want to carry in your cargo pocket you could always add a dangler to it um also if you wanted a g you could always add a gp pouch to it just have four mags radio pouch like i said there's so many different ways to customize this also forgot to add that the chest rig has an inner pocket that goes all the way through for maps or whatever you want to just throw in there and here's another setup which is kind of more of a hunting setup with a bino pouch and a knife. My thoughts on this chest rig and when I would use it would be something kind of where I'm prioritizing mobility, speed, and ammo capacity. And whatever else capacity gear. Like I need, I'm more focused on being able to run around, escape, travel, and carry stuff than I am about actually fighting and don't get me wrong, I need to be able to carry stuff to get into to survive in a fight, but that is not the priority. So an example I would use this would be patrolling, uh, long range travel, like I'm going somewhere far away. I'm not near my home base, I'm not near any protection, I'm not near any concrete you know, cover, and I just need to be as mobile as possible. Uh, another way I would use a chest rig is if the weather kind of dictates so for instance right now i'm wearing multiple layers because it's kind of cold it's a lot easier to have a chest rig to carry your fighting load than it would be to have like a battle belt or whatever and also with wearing gloves and stuff it's a lot easier to access mags and different stuff in the cold than would it be uh, an alice web gear or something like that um i know some people have used it in the cold but i just i like having it up here Another reason I might want to wear a chest rig is, let's say I'm doing a patrol, but I'm not that far from home. Well, I still might want to wear armor, and I still have the 
ability to, but I might wear slick armor, let's say underneath a jacket or a rain jacket, and then throw this on top of it. So for instance, let's say it just started pouring down rain right now, I might want to throw on a poncho. Well, if you're wearing a plate carrier that you know has a placard on it, you would then have to put the poncho over your plate carrier or put the plate carrier over your poncho and it'd be a lot easier to just have slick armor take off your chest rig you're still armored up this whole entire time put that on and then put the chest rig over it and you can still access your mags and you still have armor also let's say if you're wearing warming layers you get too hot you need to take one off or you're getting too cold you need to add on you can just take this on and off so my thoughts on chest rigs in general is that they belong to your second line gear, meaning it's your fighting load. There are a lot of dudes, including myself at one point, that they just put random stuff like Snickers bars, water, compasses, just all this stuff. And in my opinion, if it's on your chest, same thing with a plate carrier, it needs to help you win the fight. It needs to help you shoot, move, and communicate. So right now I have six mags, full combat loadout. I have ham radio that I could either tie into a headpiece or whatever, a uh, tourniquet, uh, I, that's all it needs to be, just help you stay in the fight. Um, now in closing, is this a good chest rig for you? Well if you don't really know what you want and maybe you just have random pouches laying around, I think this would be a good place to start because you start to figure out what you like, what you don't like, what what's really dumb mistakes what things work and you can kind of experiment and also like I said if you need to adapt and I don't know carry random stuff then yeah it's a good option but uh yeah I hope y'all like this video please like and subscribe um I'll try to put out content but lately I've just been really busy but uh stay safe out there and uh god bless